Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a clean my closet out with me, um, but I wanted to go ahead and get a simple dinner started in the crock pot. It is a pretty chilly day here and so I wanted to make something warm and cozy and homemade for my family. So I decided on vegetable soup. Um, so I'm just going to get that started before I get working on our front closet. Um, but let me go ahead and show you how I make this soup. It is so healthy and so simple and so cozy and delicious. Thanks for watching. I am going to tackle my front closet. It is a disaster and something I have been putting off. Uh, when I show you it, you will see exactly what I mean. Um, but today's the day, so let's get this done. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's get done. Okay, and here is our closet. We store games, so all our different family games. Um, I think this actually has some 4th of July decor in it, a straightener that I need to return, um, some school art stuff, coats. <laughs> Thank you, honey. He was telling me to turn the light on. Best husband ever. Extra hangers, um, lots of extra bags, shoes, some drink storage, yoga mat winter storage Halloween candy that needs to get thrown away and everything else. So let's get this cleaned up. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so
closet if there's one thing I've been putting off to do it's this closet um, as you can probably tell by the way it looked and by the way the rest of my house looks usually um, but let me go ahead and show you it I'm really really excited um, I think it came out great and it's so spacious and clean and neat now so I'm very very happy let me go ahead and show you how it Okay, so I kind of just organized the games and fixed some of the super broken boxes. Got some different storage in our sewing kit, um, a yoga block, and some different kiddo fun things to do. Our jackets, extra hangers, our bags we still use for recyclables and all that. And then I put the three drawer um, container in the basement because it holds scarves, hats, and gloves. It's getting warmer, but it's not quite warm enough to not have any of those items upstairs. And so I just kept out the one drawer um, and we'll just keep a few hats and then the boys have their gloves on at school right now and they'll throw those in here. Our shoes, back here I just have one of my yoga mats and some reusable bags. And then our drinks are back there. Uh, my son's umbrella, my husband had this great idea to hang an umbrella that doesn't have a hanger. Put one of my little ponytails on it so it hangs nicely. Uh, um, hook for the boys' masks. Um, I just have my Swiffer here because the boys have been into using disposable masks. So I figure it's not going to hurt them. I'm going to wash these before they wear them again. Our vacuum. And then easy access for my kiddos. This is my oldest son's and this is my youngest son's. They just have their hooks so they can hang their hoodies and their spring slash rain jackets easily. But yeah, that is it. It looks so, so nice. And sometimes my husband and I will hang, like I'll hang my jacket here and my husband will hang his here. 
um, a jacket that we're like always wearing. So it's easy to hang up. So I love having those hooks, but yeah, I think it looks so, so much better. And you can actually like walk into it now. Now it is back to the kitchen to finish up dinner. So after I remove my lid from my crock pot, I am going to pour in this container of egg noodles that I have um, and give that a good stir around and cook those for the last half hour or so of um, my soup time. And then I am going to be ready to serve my family a homemade, delicious, easy dinner. And then I was so excited to get a surprise Amazon package in the mail from my aunt. Um, it was a total surprise and she surprised me with these automatic grinding salt and pepper shakers. They are so pretty. So in a hurry, I washed them out and dried them thoroughly because I could not wait to try them out. So as you see, at first I was struggling and wondering why I could not get these to work, but of all people, my son actually figured it out. As the sky could ever be. My son ended up figuring out you slant the salt and pepper grinders and you don't totally turn them upside down. So they were working great and I love them. I just think they are so pretty and such a great addition to my kitchen. So thank you, Aunt Donna, for a nice surprise. And thank you, Charlie, for helping me and Daddy figure it out. Even when my teardrops start to dry. So here is our soup. It is done. It looks so delicious, so warm and cozy. It is a new family favorite. Everybody absolutely loved it. And you know when your kiddos eat something homemade and this healthy, it's definitely delicious. Let me know in the comments below if you try this recipe and if you and your family like it. Then I served our soup with some warm biscuits straight out of the oven, topped it with some Parmesan cheese, and we enjoyed dinner as a family. Thank you for watching. Stay peaceful.